Alright, here's the second part of my video. Um, you know, same um, uploader, you know, same feminist crap. I'm a bit sick, so <clears throat> let's just get this over with, okay? I hear voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to me. Let's talk about the F word feminism. It represents a movement that's been badmouthed since it came on the scene, despite its huge impact on the world. Feminism is a belief in gender equality, political, economic, and social. I literally made too many videos about this one topic. So you know what, I'm just gonna let it slide. And yet, only 20% of Americans say they're feminists, even though 82% say they believe in gender equality. What gives? Yes, how can you support equality without calling yourself a feminist? Hmm, I wonder how exactly. Seriously, people like yourself always act like if being a feminist is the only way to support equality. I mean, that's just total bullshit. Just because the definition of a word means equality doesn't mean that I should support a group that's full with complete freaking bigots and I have seen the actions of feminists and most of you guys would agree that feminists do not act like the meaning like like, like they're trying to gain equality what they're trying to do is gain total power over and I know that some feminists on the internet will go like not all feminists are like that or um, you know, you're, you're, you don't understand what feminism is. I've, again, seen the common arguments made by feminists, and I've destroyed them. Most of the time, it's just them just whining about how women are supremely oppressed when I already debunked that, th their, their, um, their ideology so freaking quickly. Is this a question of branding, or is all this one giant misunderstanding? Here are the five biggest myths about feminism. There's the been there, done that idea. Thanks to women's rights movements, women, not all, but many around the world can vote, own property, open a bank account, and hold all kinds of jobs. So what's left to fight for? Misogyny is still alive and well, which means feminism is still needed. I look forward to the day that feminism is outdated. Feminists will put the label misogyny on almost anything that they deem to be unfair, at least towards the female gender. If someone gets paid less, you know, if a woman gets paid less than a man, then it's misogyny, despite the fact that there are statistics showing that men, I mean, women and men work different amount of hours, uh, different amount of times. Um, they take, men take, I mean, women take more vacation days off and um, sick days off than men along with um, the fact that men are more likely to die at their jobs than women. They're willing to put misogyny on the government, you know, saying that, you know, there's a lack of women there. If that's the case, then the government is also racist because there's a lack of black people or, you know, just about any race. But no, it's just plain misogynistic that there's a lack of women. Misogyny barely exists. Where misogyny does exist is this in the major in the major minorities of minorities. So misogyny or hatred of women hasn't gone anywhere, and neither has unequal pay. For every dollar that a man earns in an hour, a woman earns 84 cents. I knew it. I freaking knew it. I fucking called it. Of course you're going to bring up the wage gap argument, which has been debunked so many freaking times. I'll put it in a nutshell. Men and women, on average, gain different amount of money because they work differently. And it's not based on vagina. In fact, there's a newer statistic showing that women earn about uh, 98 to, I think 95 to 98 cents the amount of that of a man. So... I don't see why I should even bother. And only 8% of the top execs of the 500 most traded companies are women. Yes, apparently the lack of women 
who aim to be that way is somehow misogynistic. What I tell you, they'll put misogyny on almost anything. And ending violence against women continues to be an ongoing fight. Oh yeah, 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 and men too, but um, that's not really our cause. You know, we, we really care just about the women only. Yeah, sorry about Even in a supposedly equal country like the US, one in five women have been raped, and 98% of rapists are men. So you have a 20% chance that you may get raped if you're a woman. I find that very hard to believe. Maybe one in 10, but 20 fucking percent? Where the fuck do you even get this statistic? And hell, even if it's true, um, what about the men? Yeah, I know you got, you girls got tired about that, about that speech, I mean that word. But seriously, the, the majority of people dying from violence is men. The, uh, there's uh, only 10% of homeless shelter is directly towards men. But that's not misogyny or misandry. It's just, you know, it's just there. It's not really your problem. So you just ca don't care. Yeah, you're in for equality and yet don't see these problems that men face. And you, again, you're willing to put misogyny on almost anything. In other words, if men get the short end of the stick, then it's not your problem. It's just there. But if women get the short end of the stand, short end of the stick, then oh my god, it's misogyny. It's completely horrible. This needs to stop. Then there's the people who say feminism is a girl thing. But if feminism is just for women, that would mean ending sexism is women's responsibility alone. And by the same logic, ending racism is only the job of people of color. Well, in order to be a male feminist, you have to reach, you know, incredible and yet somehow silly expectations of that of female feminists. You gotta do this, that, this, that to be a male feminist. And, you know, if you even make one slip up, if you, you know, give a feminist a reason to automatically dislike you, then they're going to label you as sexist and they'll say that this guy tried to be a feminist, you know, try to get laid by being a feminist. And that's just plain horrible. It's just plain complete evil and stuff. Seriously, there was this one guy who received so much hatred for being a feminist because he wanted to have sex with one of the feminists. Being a male feminist is impossible. How does that work? Especially when it comes to ending violence against women. The reason why people see issues of gender violence as women's issues, the simplest, most basic explanation is that that's how power functions. And men are the dominant group, women are the subordinated group. And by calling it a women's issue, shifts the responsibility and accountability off of men and puts it onto women. You see, that affects men too. So therefore, a man should be a feminist. Right, 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 right. So guess what guys? You too can be a feminist. And as Nigerian author Shimamata Adichie said, A feminist is a man or a woman who says, yes, there's a problem with gender as it is today. And we must fix it. We must do better. Welcome. Some people fear that feminists want an estrogen world order, where fembots controlled by fem Nazis make men wash endless mountains of dishes. Sorry, but it's just not true. Oh, you can deny all you want. You're not fooling anyone. Maybe the real fear is upsetting the status quo? So there's lots of men who aren't doing well in the current system. There's lots of men who are oppressed by other men, or by systems of class and race and sexual orientation and ethnicity, all of which, by the way, feminism addresses. I have barely seen any feminists actually address men's rights. And I've barely seen any feminists actually address the criticism of feminism. I mean, most feminists that I encounter on YouTube have always been this way. They don't address the things that affects men, and when they do, they act like they don't really care about it. And guess what? Even if you don't identify as male or female, feminism is for you too. Feminist naysayers point to their lipstick and high heels as badges of their anti-feminism. But get this. If anything, feminism is about giving women the choice to 
to, you know, be whatever kind of person they would like to be, be it feminine or masculine or somewhere in between. You know, it's kind of funny that these feminists, you know, act like, oh, you know, I want to dress like this. I can dress whatever the hell I want. But when we draw women or, you know, quote unquote, make women, you know, dress sexually, then it somehow it leads to misogyny because we're, quote unquote, objectifying them. And therefore, it is sexism. In other words, if a woman wants to dress very sexually, it's in her power. But if we try to you know, create a video game of a strong female character, it must be for their, you know, it must represent them. You know, if she's too masculine, it's sexist. If she's too feminine, she's sexist. If she's too emotional, she's sexist. If she doesn't have enough emotions, she's sexist. If it's too this, it's sexist. If it's too that, it's sexist. It's sexist, it's sexist, it's sexist, it's sexist. It's sexist, it's sexist. Finally, there's the idea that feminists don't look like me. They're imagined as old, white, and middle class. But there are feminists of every race, age, class, sexuality, nationality, and gender. Then please explain why the majority of feminists are cisgender white women. So the next time someone says to you, I'm not a feminist, but do them a favor and pass this along. Fuck this video. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Get the hell out of my camera, you bitch. <sighs> Sorry. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I want my firm to have Yeah, I'm, they can see me. Remember all times to be the best thing. I'm Derek Sell. And I'm Tracy Brown. This is my, this is my sister, Lisa. She's not a feminist. She believes in equality, you know? You know? And she's a strong, independent woman. Ah. She's far more independent <coughs> than any feminist that I have ever encountered on YouTube, especially the male feminist. So when I found out, Medicare Are you really gonna put this on YouTube? Yes, I'm, I'm gonna put this on YouTube. It didn't work last time. No, I promise you, you're gonna be on YouTube, and you know, look at the camera. Look at the camera. Okay. Yes. By the way, she's single. Shut up. <laughs> Probably all your friends are ugly, so it doesn't matter. And my friends are very, very handsome. Uh huh. Yeah, they're handsome. All I have to say, all I have to say about feminism is that, by their own logic, feminists are racist and sexist because there's a lack of men in feminists in feminism, and they're the majority of feminists are pretty much cisgender white women. So therefore it is racist as well. By their own logic. Look, I am not anti-equal. I am an, a humanist. And I guess eagle, eagle, fuck, I can't pronounce that word. I can't pronounce it. But I still believe in equality. So does she, so does my mother, so does my father. We all believe in equality and none of us are feminists. That's it? Uh, no, no, there, there's, you know. <coughs> I didn't really expect her to appear in my video. So, now that I got that out of the way, I think it's time that I, you know, start recycling again. I am the Atheist Gamer. This is my sister Melissa. Peace. The game out. Enjoy watching this video, click on the like button. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. And of course, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google+. We all know Google+, fucking sucks.